Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. Guess what I'm wearing? <laughs> I'm wearing the Grinch shirts that I got at Old Navy. It's a very nice shirt too. It has the Grinch wearing a Santa suit and he has his dog Max, you know, being dressed up as a reindeer. You know, getting ready to steal Christmas <laughs> at Whoville. Yeah, make it rain. Also, I'm wearing my pajamas of the Grinch right here. It says he's a mean one around here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I guess I'm being very Grinchy today, but don't worry. <laughs> I'm not stealing any Christmas or anything like that. <laughs> and in fact, why not review? A Christmas classic from 1966 called Dr. Seuss How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Yes, um, this was definitely uh, a perennial Christmas classic that's created by Dr. Seuss himself, a Ted Geisel, and it was animated by Chuck Jones, who's also the producer. Yes, Chuck Jones has been. A, uh, a fine animator, actually a delightful and very uh, talented animator. He's a legend, best known for animated uh, Tom and Jerry and, and Looney Tunes uh, shorts. Yeah. He even got uh, the voice of Boris Koloff, a yeah, legendary uh, actor. Uh, who not only does the voice of the Grinch, but he also is the narrator. Yeah, hard to believe. And of course, singer Ferl Ravenscroft has been known for doing the voice of Tony the Tiger. And I always love the song, You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are a heel. You're as cuddly as the cactus. You're as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. You're a bad banana with a greasy black peel. <laughs> and all the rest. <laughs> yeah, I really miss him. Also, June Fourway uh, does the voice of Cindy Lou. Yes. It also has all the memorable songs, you know, like Welcome Christmas and all the rest. <laughs> so, of course, it's, it's what the special's about, you know, how the Grinch hates Christmas so bad that he just wants to steal it. So that way, the, the, that way the people at Whoville, all the Who's out there, are going to be disappointed. But, uh, <laughs> That's it. That's his plan the whole time. Well, mostly because he has no heart. Or, it seems like his heart is very small. Okay. Now, it originally aired on CBS on December 18, 1966. Mostly because after the last Christmas special, A Charlie Brown Christmas, became this popular with viewers that they wanted to do another Christmas special this time by Dr. Seuss and like Charlie Brown Christmas it too was very popular it was being sponsored by another uh, company and since then you know they had many viewers and it was also as popular as ever and since then they started airing the special every Christmas until 1988 when they decided to move it to all the Turner owned stations TBS, TNT and then later Cartoon Network also um, ABC decided to play it as well along with ABC Family which is now Freeform and even for a while they played on NBC in later years um, and yes it's been on home video I, I used to have the video, but then um, I lost it. Sucks, I know. 
but it was great to have it. And then later, but I later had another uh, copy, but it's the later release, which includes the Horton Hears a Who. I later transfer that to, to DVD, which is cool. So I, I still have a copy of that. Um, I would love to pick up the Blu-ray release that not only has uh, the special with all the special features, yeah, it even has the documentary with uh, that was hosted by Phil Hartman, but they also have uh, two uh, Grinch specials that followed after that, called uh, Halloween is Grinch Night, and the Grinch uh, Grinch is the Cat in the Hat. And I definitely remember those specials. I mean, well, it's not exactly as classic as How the Grinch Stole Christmas, but still, it's great to see that the Grinch uh, became his own character to appear in all these specials. And I feel like, yeah, we need more Grinch these days. <laughs> yeah, and, and I love Dr. Seuss. I mean, I always love reading the books. And, of course, this is based on the book, too, from 1957. I mean, I always love reading The Cat and the Hat, uh, Green Eggs and Ham, of course, The Grinch, and and all these other ones that follow. And yeah, as we know, I mean, it did become so popular that we actually had a live-action adaptation that was directed by Ron Howard and starred Jim Carrey. And I loved that one, too. And I thought it actually um, had a heart to it. It was heartwarming and... And it actually um, is a tribute to the book and the special. But, yep, it got criticized. And people were cynical about it. And they thought, oh, it's not that good. Like, great, you know, they wanted to focus on more of the characters and all that. Which, I don't mind that. And I don't mind having Cindy Lou uh, talking about the question behind the Grinch and everything. And it, it was more of her character, too, so... Why not? I mean, I think we, we deserve something. But hey, it's it's the movie, not the special, okay guys? So stop comparing it to it. Alright? I mean, it's fine to compare, but it's not... But don't be so cynical about it. And there's also another movie that just came out recently. Yeah, The Grinch by Illumination Animation. Yeah, the same guys that gave us Despicable Me and the Minions. <laughs> they also did um, the Lorax. That was also from Dr. Seuss. Which I also enjoyed too. Uh, when I saw it. And we also had Horton Hears the Who. That was done by Blue Sky. I enjoyed that one as well. But the only one I didn't enjoy was The Cat and Hat, the live action adaptation that was directed by Bo Welch who's the costume designer who had worked on many movies. Yeah. So anyway, let's uh, get to the review. It stars Boris Koloff as the Grinch and the narrator, June Fourway as Cindy Lou, and Furl Ravenscroft, who's the singer behind the song. It's based on the How the Grinch Stole Christmas book by Dr. Seuss who wrote the screenplay and it's directed by Chuck Jones who's the animator and producer and Dr. Seuss is also the producer too <laughs> the special begins where we meet the Grinch who's voiced by Boris Koloff he lives in a cave on top of Mount Crumpet located above the village of Whoville he became a surly character with a heart too size too small who incredibly hates Christmas. Yes, which <clears throat> that might be the reason why he has he's starting to have no heart. And he even starts to rant while his dog uh, Max uh, came by. So, I mean, he's fed up with all the decorations that's going around, the music, with all the noise, 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 and the fact that the Whoville starts to the feast, and they feast, they feast, and <laughs> they're getting ready, you know, they're, they're all happy and joy, you know, they're, 
you know, they're also waiting for Santa Claus to come by to give all the gifts for everyone. Everything. You know, because Whoville is definitely a happy town where everyone gathers around during the season and just uh, begin to have a wonderful Merry Christmas. So, because of it, uh, Grinch wanted to stop it from coming. So his plan was to dress up as Santa Claus, so he had to create his own suit uh, with the help of Max. So Max had to, uh, has to dress up as a reindeer. <laughs> so that's is where his plan was to steal Christmas. And so he loads up with all these empty bags like garbage bags or so and he also creates his own sleigh so he definitely goes all the way down into the hill which yes it was pretty difficult because Max was trying to uh, to mush but he just suddenly uh, went straight all the way under into the sleigh and went up on top <laughs> and he's like <laughs> So uh, yeah, they, they were going all the way to these hills, all the way down, until they finally made it into Whoville. And this is where he loads up with tons of bags, going from door to door to steal everything. Stealing all the foods, including the last can of Who Hash, stealing all the toys all the way around, all the the Christmas decorations, ornaments, everywhere even a star on, on top of the Christmas tree and yes he takes the entire Christmas tree all wrapped up together with all these bags door to door everywhere even taking out all the candy canes from all the girls who are sleeping that's where we spot uh, Cindy Lou <laughs> who um, actually spotted uh, the Grinch just when he was about to put the Christmas tree all the way up to the chimney and this is where he told a fib to Cindy Lou that, well, <laughs> it just, um, it's not working very well. <clears throat> like the lights or anything, and it's not going straight. So when I come back, I'll fix it for you. <laughs> so Cindy Lou suddenly agrees and gives her a glass of water and just went up to bed. Close the door and then ready to get the Christmas tree up up in the air and just have Max grab it yeah and have it wrap up yeah and that's what he was doing all this time he was uh, taking out all the uh, Christmas stockings everything or all the way around <laughs> he even started using all the toys to like one of those uh, <laughs> those wind up toys to actually grab all the other ones and put them inside the bag so he loads them up completely all the way and puts it all the way into the, the sleigh so they're ready to go all the way up back to Mount Crumpet to where he is but this is where it gets really difficult because once he started mushing <clears throat> suddenly uh, it was taking more weight than ever before. Yeah, one uh, ornament just just dropped out and fell all the way down into the hill, and crack was broken. So now they they were stuck up on the hill, and they're about to slip off. So yes, both Grinch and and uh, Max had fell off, went all the way down, and then then the top of the hill of, of the the sleigh was about to go all the way down so he tries to grab it and he did but he was slipping and slipping uh, before that he begins to the spot the rest of the Whovilles because they're trying to find out if they're gonna be disappointed you know because they go around you know singing all all the carolers and everything singing the song welcome Christmas they began to find out that yes they didn't have anything so they just they go around singing 
the song all the way down at Whoville. And they thought that, yes, the entire town was going to be sad, but it turns out they were just happy. And this is where the Grinch says at the end, How did it could be so? It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. Yeah, when he was yanking the Max, who was all the way on top of the, uh, of the sleigh, you know, would fill with a lot of bags around and then that's when yes it started to go straight to the hill and that's where he starts to grab it but he was slipping but then a miracle happens when his heart suddenly grew and grew bigger that now he becomes stronger than ever before and that's when he suddenly went all the way down in Whoville you know with Max so they went as fast as they can to finally bring back all the gifts and all the stuff everywhere and bring back Christmas the way it should be. So now he finally has a heart, a gold, and now this is where he finally gets to carve the feast. And he was lucky to do it. Um, with Cindy Lou helping and you know, actually grab one feast to, to Max and then even grabs a feast to her and everyone else at Whoville. So, he had a wonderful Christmas. <laughs> and, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I can see why. I mean, this is a wonderful special. I always loved it. Watched it uh, every year, or sometimes, you know, once in a while. Or maybe many times. <laughs> but I do watch it many times, too, on Christmas. So, it's always fun. Um... I always love it. Um, Boris Karloff was definitely a legend. Definitely the right choice to do the voice of the Grinch. Really shows how powerful and incredibly evil that he looks. I mean, the way they, the way he does all of his rants. I mean, you could definitely see his his crooked teeth, and it does that that devilish smile that he does. You know, just because he's so happy that he finally gets to, you know, steal Christmas that he always wanted since he hates it so much. But here's the thing, too, because he does rant a lot about it, that he can't stand it, but they never explain how that he, he hated Christmas all, all of his life. But that's a good thing. Like, maybe, you know, he hated it ever since he was uh, very young. But of course, they took that idea later on in, in the live-action movie. So I guess that's interesting that they went for that, because it's a 25-minute it's a special. And um, it was nice to see um, all the Who's out there, and including Cindy Lou, who's very cute. Doesn't speak much. But it, it was nice. I mean, uh, there's even a scene where she actually grabs the Christmas wreath and <laughs> she really, sh as he uh, gives a nice, uh, beautiful smile because, you know, she was happy and, and joyous. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, and plus she has lovely blue eyes too. And I love the animation that was done by Chuck Jones himself. It's very beautiful. Definitely has that style. Love the colors. Definitely as brighter as ever. You know, because the Grinch does look green. Not yellow tone. Like um, some of the later releases were. Um, but they fixed it. I mean, you definitely see how brown the dog is. Yeah, Max. You see how beautiful they look with all the rest of, of the setting and the mountains that's all covered in snow and everything else and all the bells and all the decorations all the music and then you see all the who's around there's even a moment where there's actually a chef who who just there's like too many of them just you know trying to grab that one uh, apple that Sunny Lou grabbed <laughs> And they'd sing all the carols and everything, you know. 
all these noises blasting from all these horns everywhere you know the drums and everything then you get um, all the memorable moments too where yes he does do his rants and and he's always saying and then you hear the song in the background by Fro Ra Ravencroft memorable song as we know well, he was, you know, preparing himself to dress up as Santa Claus, just, you know, doing all these um, ironing and everything, <laughs> you know, with the help of Max, because Max is a dog, and I never thought a dog can do everything, but, yep, he can. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's, it was sweet. I love it, and, and I can see why it became such a classic. So, there you go. That's Dr. Seuss, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, and I give it five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.